Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be reviewing yet another foundation and it is the new Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Now this was launched worldwide about a year back and it is finally available in India. Now before we jump into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So this foundation is available on Nykaa as well as on Amazon. I picked up mine from Nykaa and this is priced at 750 rupees for 30 ml of product. Now, uh, something was wrong with the Nykaa website. On the homepage, it was priced at 625, but once you click on it and it takes you to this specific product page, the retail price is 750. So just letting you guys know about that. And there are about nine shades that are offered in India, wherein uh, I think worldwide they do offer about 28 shades. So I really hope that they do come out with more shades like how they did for the Fit Me Foundation. Now the packaging is a nice glass bottle. It's heavy, it's sturdy, it's nice and it has a white cap on the top which I think will get dirty at, in due time. And finally, Finally, they have a pump, which was really, really missing in the Fit Me foundation. Now, about the shade, I picked out 310 Sun Beige, which is the same as my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And this foundation, I'm a bit skeptical about the shade range because it's very infamous for oxidizing on the skin. So I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that this matches my skin tone. So for the description and the features of this foundation, they say that it is a full coverage foundation, long lasting wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested. So this all sounds really good, but we are going to do a wear test wear on my oily ass skin. I really want to see if it lasts and also I live in Chennai, which is humid throughout the year. So let's see. So I have a very oily skin and I have a lot of texture on my face. I just had some hormonal breakouts which is going down but even otherwise in general I have a lot of bumps and pits on my skin. This is the problem side of my skin as you guys can see and over here as well there is hyperpigmentation, there is one over here, here there is another one going down, there's a lot of texture over here as well, the blemishes and the acne or pimples I don't know what that is so I have already moisturized my skin with the Clinique prep and start uh, hydro blur moisturizer so I let it sit for quite some time so I'm going to be doing the foundation the way how I would test a new foundation one side with the beauty blender and the other side with a brush so this side is going to be the beauty blender side I'm just gonna take one pump first Product. You know, I like my hair like this one minute. I look ridiculous, but that's what it is. There you go. So this is one layer of it. I think due to the uh, hyperpigmentation I have over here, I'm just going to add a little bit of whatever's left over back over here so that it kind of covers it up more. So here you go, this is the Beauty Blender side and as you guys can see the difference, it is given a very flawless finish. Uh, it is full coverage for sure and uh, yeah, it is really good. And I don't think this is like the drying, drying kind of a matte finish. I think this is more like, a, it has a little bit of a sheen in it. It's a comfortable matte but it doesn't feel heavy. It does not feel heavy at all. And also it has a little bit of a paint smell, which reminds me of the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation. So it has a similar smell to that, but otherwise I really feel that it has covered a lot of the redness on my face, the pores and all, everything is like pretty flawless and good. 
So let's move on to the brush side. Oh, and also the shade, I think so far so good. I really like the shade. It is decent. Um, I don't know, you guys tell me. Seeing my chest, I think it is a perfect match. Hmm. So now I'm going to take like one pump for the brush side and see how that goes. That's a lot. What sorcery is this? It's amazing! So this is how my skin is looking right now. I feel that a little goes a long way with this foundation and it does not feel heavy or cakey. It is so light. I don't even feel like I'm wearing a foundation. That's how light it is. So the coverage, it is amazing. Like all my hyperpigmentation, one swipe of my brush, bam, it's gone. So this is amazeballs. <laughs> So the concealer is on, I do look a little ghostly right now but I'll be finishing the rest of the makeup and it will look normal. So this is the completed look. On the description box below I will mention all the products that I've used on my face today. The only thing is I did not add in a highlighter on my face. I added the highlighter which is the Maybelline uh, Master Chrome highlighter, the molten gold one on the inner lid corner. Of in the, corner, the inner corners of my eyes just for a little bit of a pop but apart from that the shine that you would be seeing that is mostly to do with the blush so yeah I'm going to show you right now how it looks on the natural lighting so this so this is how it's looking in natural lighting I really really love the foundation the way how it is on my face as you guys can see and how the rest of the makeup is also blended with this foundation so you guys be the judge of it and tell me how this is looking so i'll be back with the first check-in shortly the time right now is around uh, 4 10 and I'll see you guys soon. So hello and I'm back. So this is how I'm looking right now for it's been like a little over six hours uh, and also I have obviously changed my clothes and I've just been really comfortable because it's a lazy ass Sunday. I had just been sitting and doing chores. I had some late lunch and right now I'm looking like a very shiny bronze or gold lady. So yeah, this is how my face is looking, but realistically, it's still not that bad. The reason is because I would have done a touch-up. Like if I'm gonna go out with a full face, I will be doing a touch-up every two to three hours. I will be having a check on how my makeup is looking. But since this was a review, I did not do any of that. So this is still okay. I can still see the product, it is there. I just look like a disco ball. But what we're going to do right now is I'm going to be using a blotting sheet and I'm going to blot the oil away and try to see if this works by using uh, the Fit Me pressed powder. So it's just it's kind of fitting that I use that because it's like in the same family. Okay, so this is a fresh sheet of blotting paper. So this is the difference, this full sheet is done. This is how my face is looking right now after blotting about two sheets are gone with all the oil and it had saved my face so I feel this really looks good because I have had foundations when my face gets oily it kind of breaks down the product in such a way that when I blot it it comes off along with the product 
but right now as you can see the foundation is still existing it's still there and like i said earlier in real life if i am going to do it like not for the video but if i'm going to have a full face of makeup i will be touching up every two to three hours that's normal because oily skin human place i have to do that so yeah i feel this is really good so i don't even think i'm going to do any touch up right now because i'm like this itself if it was me personally i would just continue being out like this itself just blotting it but i'm sure that if you do the press powder or a loose powder it will look amazing like more amazing than this but right now i'm just not going to because it still looks good and i'm gonna go to bed so that's that now for the pros and cons the first point is going to be the packaging that is it has a pump on it that is the first thing the second is the pricing so for me if any foundation is less than 600 that is the affordable foundation now anything more than like 1100 1200 is going to be a pricier foundation and way above that is going to be luxury so this is right in the middle so this price point is also i am okay with this which is 750 rupees and the third point is going to be the coverage it gave such a tremendous difference when i applied it so the coverage was amazing now the fourth point is going to be the long lasting part of it now this had lasted so long in such an extreme situation which is my oily skin the humid climate me sweating and eating and still it lasted so that is the point and the last i think is going to be did i miss anything oh yeah it was long lasting i said that and it did not cake up at all so that was really good like even after i blotted i can still see the product i can still see the foundation on my skin unlike other brands or other products so that is the pros from my end for my skin oh the other pro is it is really light and it's comfortable for my extremely oily skin i think i could feel a little bit that you know there is a foundation on my skin i think after like four hours so i think if you have like a dry skin or someone with a normal skin you are good to go so yeah this is my take now the cons the first is going to be the shade i feel the shade range is still less which is nine in the darker shade ranges i really find extremely less i can find something like tanner foundation but someone who is much more darker i do not see that and like i said earlier i really hope they do expand the shade ranges like how they did for the maybelline fit me foundation which has 15 shades if i'm not wrong now the last con is going to be i think that is it that is the only con for me i really really like the foundation so all in all i do love this foundation i feel that this is totally worth the hype and if you're thinking of buying it do buy it but i'm also curious to know if it has worked out for you or if it has not because everyone's skin is completely different everyone's preference is completely different so do comment down below and let me know what your take is now that's it for today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel click on the like and comment down below if you have any questions also don't forget to follow me on my socials so until the next video take care bye so you have no idea how annoying it is when your baby hair is trying to get stuck to your face because it's so oily and also i have just dimmed the light a bit because my face is so shiny that if i brighten it up a little bit also it is just gonna like glare back oh and i did not add any highlighter on my face and this is how i end up looking it's like a full face of highlighter challenge without the highlighter i'm like kind of ready to actually sleep uh i have work tomorrow it's monday <laughs>